uh, Jasmine here. Welcome to another video. Uh, this one I thought I'd record a little differently because unlike the others, uh, this isn't a tutorial. This is just drawing. I like kind of keeping logs of things, so I thought I would do a little reading log since I'm planning on reading a lot of books this year. But also to keep track of, um, I use apps to mark every movie I watch, every show I watch. There's just something about journaling that is just more soothing, filling the pages. So I'm gonna make some templates today. Uh, but I didn't want to do the standard voiceover because I thought it'd be a little boring watching a time lapse of journal pages uh, while I talk. Plus, you know, what am I gonna say? I, I'm drawing a box right here. I'm gonna do these little stars underneath here, so felt this was the way to go. <laughs> I'm gonna screen record. That way I don't have to bother trying to find a camera angle for my iPad. I'm using iPad Pro on Procreate with my handy Apple Pencil. Best investment I ever made. My hair's still wet. Got in the shower and it takes like six hours to dry because it's so thick. So didn't feel like waiting until it was dry to do this. Uh, that also means I can't get it out of my face. Journals are what, um, A5, right? Size is A5. I think it's funny that there's a section for paper, but there's a section for A4. Is it A4 paper size? Or is it talking about the journal cover size? This is A4 on here. Okay, A5 size is not an exact number. I pressed the screen record. <laughs> Okay, um, 5.83 it says, but 8.27. Ah! 3, 8.27. That's my dog, and poor baby has a collapsed trachea. He's old. He's 12, 13 next month. My little old man. Uh, first, let's go with the simple book review page. Um, one thing I love about Procreate is the grid lines drawing assist because drawing straight lines is of course annoying and it's something it's like the least artistic thing to me drawing these straight line like it's not like it's something an ability that makes you more talented <laughs> just so it's nice having to being able to skip that so I'm turning on drawing assist uh, using my handy gel pen on the inking tab always setting my size and the first thing I would like to do is just draw some straight lines. It's always a question of how many per row. I just realized something better. Okay, I have a story template where I already have book covers. So I'm just gonna copy that grid and trace over it. Okay, I want more space because I want to be able to put a star rating underneath these. So first, this isn't gonna be my final, this is just my template. Let's leave some room for the title. Four should be good if I leave that gap. The line here, yeah. Now I can do my good lines and set the transparency. And I will probably time lapse this part because um, it's boring. <laughs> Putting a new layer for the horizontal lines because it's just easier to erase, you'll see why. I can hear Cosmo crying. He's a English cream golden retriever. He's only eight months, but my mom's in the garage working with the heat press, so he's probably starting to get lonely. Technically, he can go bug my brother Christian, he's in his room. probably easier ways to do this, but this is just the way I know how, so. In case you're wondering where I am, uh, this is my bedroom. This is my makeup cabinet, eyeshadows, lipsticks. I, I don't even know what's up here anymore. I get ipsy and they send a lot of like moisturizers and masks and I forget to actually see what they are and use them. So um, I think I need 
need to start giving this away to some family members because I don't even use most of this stuff. I'm gonna keep that template just to help me with my stars. Um, I have stamps. I think they should work. Um, what are you thinking? Cartoon? Uh, cartoony might be cute, uh huh? For the perfectionist in me doesn't like this. And I turn to Google. Oh wait, I have, uh, I have stars. Yeah, I have a lot of files. I don't remember what file the review stars were on. I actually don't know if I even have the review stars. <laughs> okay, never mind. Scratch that. Yes! Found one. I don't feel weird reading books with the star system. It always felt like such a movie thing to me. Now I'm doing my template. Okay, so I've got my stars, I've got my boxes. So a four journal, not bad for size. I may make a sticker pack of book covers place a sticker of the book you read and then highlight how many stars you give it. Uh, first I should probably add the title. I kind of like the idea of the standard marker font. Ah, uh, so close. I don't like those gaps. Book font. Typewriter. Okay, well this is kind of boring. This could be a digital journal page. This could also be a printout. I mean, really you can make it cute if you just print it on some kind of pattern paper. So we'll probably save that as is. But, the people who don't want that. My favorite color is green, but I always like blue. It's look related stuff for some reason. So I'm gonna go with the soft blue. Borders are not nice to look at, so I like to blend them in just a little bit. My screen froze. I love Procreate. Did I mention how much I love Procreate? Those gaps are uneven, and that's gonna bug me. We're centered. If I fill in those backdrops so that it's pretty until I put a book down. So I'm making my mom watch This Is Us, which I have seen before and made me ugly cry a few times, but now I have her watch it because I really wanted to see it again. So now she's suffering with me. And we're gonna make my dad suffer with us too, eventually. We're still trying to convince him. Fact is, I know all it's gonna take is just one episode and he will be hooked like us. We have always watched all the same shows, all three of us. We watch them together. Like right now, we take turns picking shows. So I write down a list of all the ones that are out that one of us is interested in and how many episodes it has. Um, we only watch when the season's finished, but we all take turns picking a show one season at a time. My last pick was Obi-Wan. It was the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. I freaking loved it, by the way. And now we're on my dad's pick, which is the third season of Pennyworth, which I now know has been canceled. It's really bummed me out because that's a really good show. Hopefully it ends on a good note because I'm not gonna get anything after season three. And then it's my mom's turn. My mom's turn, but she's been waiting for Stranger Things and that's not out yet, so I think she's gonna pick upload season three. Full visibility, adding a clipping mask because I wanna add some kind of texture. I should turn off my grid because I don't need it anymore. on the background to make it brighter. If I print this, we need room for those for the hole punch. I'll worry about it later. Better, right? Okay, so I've got my book root page. 
technically that could work for movies too, but I don't want this, just this, you know. Let's go with black. It's bolder and better for what I want to do now. Film strip. Yeah, classic film strip. <laughs> My mom just sent me a picture. I just opened on here. That's Cosmo. Uh, she's working in the garage and I'm in here, so he's alone. Like I said, he can just go bug my brother. His room's open, but he wants mom. Look how sad he looks. You're just gonna stand there and watch her until she walks out. Uh, the good thing is, once I do a drawing assist, I can use it again without putting on the grid. I keep wanting to move my left hand out of the way. I feel like I'm blocking the screen even though I'm screen recording, not recording my iPad directly. He's still crying. Oh my god, he's such a baby. Cute baby, bit of baby. I actually used to want to be a film director. Still do. But this feels a little out of reach at this point. Um, I was in a media program in high school. Uh, all three years that it allowed, technically, I took the film class in freshman year, even though we weren't supposed to be allowed to take it because it was part of that program. But counselors didn't know that, and the video teacher didn't really care as long as we actually enjoyed it. But college, ended up being a little out of reach. So I started the business and redirected my focus to writing, which is a big part of the reason I wanted to be a director, is I wanted to write my own movies. I'm hoping someday I'll be able to afford to go back to school and try again, because there's a program in a school in LA just looks so good. Oh, at this point, I'm not sure what I would major in. I love writing, but I don't know if I'd want to go to school for it, you know? Because if you're going to go to school, if you're going to pay for college, then shouldn't you pay for something that you just can't learn on your own? And I feel like there's so many resources for writing. Like getting a degree in it when I don't have specific plans that require a degree in it just feels a little wasteful, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'd go in for, I think I'd go in for, um, God, what was it called? Uh, I forgot what the course, what the actual degree was called, but it was something like that involved, uh, concept art and, uh, like, it's the people who make the designs for ships and weapons and different things that are part of that world. That always looks amazing to me. It's good, right? Get rid of that. Ooh, that looks good. Blue and orange? I mean, half the movie posters are blue and orange. Have you guys ever seen that? Where it like had like Force Awakens and I don't know how many. Blade Runner. The amount of movie posters that are blue and orange is ridiculous. <laughs> because, I mean, they're complementary colors, but shouldn't there be a little more division between them and their competitors? I love that joke where it says, I love this trilogy and I don't remember what movies they had, but it's three different movies that all the posters look almost exactly the same. Movie lock, poster, and then fill in the stars. My black and white version. I guess that's it, huh? I thought this would take a lot longer than it did. Well, I guess that's the end of the video, huh? Uh, the files will be available to download on my Patreon if you're part of the Cricut Creator Pack. Um, if not, I, normally I sell this stuff, but I mean, how much am I going to sell this for? 50 cents? Maybe down the line I'll make some more pages, like actual, like, calendar and... Actually, I think I have files here. Or was that the iPad mini? Somewhere I had, like, a ton of journal pages that I was making for myself. And I got distracted. Uh, I'd say goodbye, but I think I'm gonna print these out. Actually, make the stickers I said, so 
this video can go on longer after all. Hey, I'm back to recording a voiceover even though I said I wouldn't. I printed out the pages on standard size cardstock sheets because I didn't have time to buy a five paper. Then I cut the sheets on my paper cutter. I shifted the boxes uh, to the side like I planned so they're not in the way when I punch in the holes. I have these A5 binders I love using for writing notes. So I took the tab divider and used it as a template to punch out the holes uh, for the binder. I mentioned I wanted to print a uh, book cover stickers and did exactly that. Every book I plan on reading is on this page for the year. I printed it on the sheet of label paper and then cut the covers out on my paper cutter, which took a while. I put them all in a plastic container, that way I don't lose them. And when I read a book, I'll stick it on the page and then fill in my star rating. Uh, do I need it? No. I have my book blog to look at my start ratings, but papers nice sometimes, you know. I was thinking of selling sticker packs of book covers, uh, but actual sticker paper are like glossy, waterproof stickers. Uh, what do you guys think? Should it be where I just have a customization box for people to write whatever book titles they want me to print? Uh, should I offer packs to anyone who wants their TBR list decided for them? Like packs by genre or a pack that's just random or maybe a pack that's my reads for the year. I'll figure it out, but um, in that case I think I would sell the sheets too so that they're guaranteed to fit. Or maybe a poster too, that would be cool. A poster with some removable stickers um, of book covers to put on it. Anyway, I'll figure that out later. If you have a journal page uh, you want to see, comment down below. I might make some kind of tracking page next, like one with a writing progress or a to-do list. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!